My name is Martin Bowen. I'm the regional general manager, and the region I work, look after is Eastern Europe, Middle East, Africa, and India, so everywhere that's poor. And uh, the mission of our company is to become the most desirable and sustainable lifestyle, sports lifestyle company in the world. That's what we're aiming to become. Global warming actually affects all our consumers. I think every, every single consumer um, does have a lifestyle. Um, and certainly with a fashion brand, uh, you do like to go out and enjoy life. Now, global warming actually impinges upon that in various ways, negative ways, people like going on holiday. If, for example, global, global warming leads to the fact that the Maldives aren't there anymore, then the lifestyle that people who consume our product uh, follow won't be able to follow that. That's the purely uh, selfish point of view. The altruistic point of view, I believe, is, is very much, yes, of course it affects us because we're all members of the world community. And that it may not be that we live in the deserts of Africa or that we live in the affected areas, but we're all members of that community. And therefore, we do have a responsibility to the rest of the world. As individuals, I have to stress, right, not on that level as a company. Right? And the reason I make that distinction is because a company is actually nothing more than the, uh, the sum of its individual. So just being a member of a company does not absolve you of your responsibility as an individual. The first thing that we did is the company Puma uh, started working with Wildlife Works. Um, we were absolutely convinced of the need to uh, offset that and we had an ambition to become a CO2 neutral company. So obviously offsetting that as our own company with uh, Wildlife Works was an ambition. The second thing was we are actually in the in the industry of making clothing. And Wildlife Works had a clothing factory. So it was very obvious that we should use them to do what they were good at. Um, and what we needed, we needed suppliers. So that was the first thing. My CEO, my former CEO, because he's moved on now, then persuaded our shareholder, Caring, that this was a good thing for them to invo be involved in. And they have subsequently purchased 5% of Wildlife Works. So rather than just giving them contracts to produce goods for us, we've actually invested in the company itself. So Caring offsets all its uh, uh, CO2 needs after they've reduced themselves and after they've uh, done whatever they can elsewhere, then whatever remains is offset. And we do all of that through Wildlife Works. That's how we use Wildlife Works, quite apart from the fact that we think it's such a good thing and we've invested in it. I believe very strongly that when it comes to sustainability, the only way that we will actually improve the lot of the world is if we work together, if we have collaboration rather than the competition. So the old rules of competition don't apply in my view. And therefore, I may well have taken the risk, because I believe my company is very much a risk taker, but I may have taken the risk of trying to open the doors and uh, establish the proof of concept with Wildlife Works. But if I'm successful, my appeal is to other leaders who can use their production facilities to go in there and, uh, and to use those. And Puma doesn't need to be any part of that at all. Um, my first recommendation would be obviously to my sister companies within the Caring Group and uh, there were representatives of Volcom who were here today and I sincerely hope that they will be doing that. In fact, I know that they will be uh, at some stage. And, uh, but other companies, it's, it's no longer exclusivity. There is no such a thing as patent on, on, on sustainability. And we, we've had a lot of initiatives within Puma where our advantage is, if you like, the, the moral credit which weighs very heavily with the consumer, but not because we've uh, patented that or reserved it for ourselves. We cannot reserve the world for ourselves, therefore why, why, why try to reserve the, the, the right to a certain world-saving initiative? It's not going to work. And on top of which, if you did try to do that, you would lose all credibility with the consumer who in the end pays our salaries. What Wildlife Works do is, it is not just about carbon credits, it's about uh, social responsibility to the community. It's about biodiversity. It's about preserving uh, the, uh, the, the natural landscape. It's about using organic cotton. It's about fair trade cotton. It's about paying fair wages. And all of those things are actually what I would call a holistic view as to how we treat our environment rather than a single issue view. And 
being an outsider who is not necessarily involved in the science, if there's one thing that threatens the environmental movement, is the arguments between single issue supporters who believe their issue is more important than another issue. And therefore, that's why I welcome companies like Wildlife Works, who have uh, embraced all the issues. And the other thing is, as far as I'm concerned, we're very worried about making claims which may or may not be sustainable in the terminology of one or of the other of the single issue initiatives. With Wildlife Works, we believe we've found a company who is absolutely watertight. They are the gold standard. And I have full and complete faith that what Wildlife Works do is in every single aspect aimed at covering off all those boxes, ticking all those boxes. And therefore I don't make any claims for myself as Puma. All I say is I've had myself certified by Wildlife Works. That's pretty good. Thank you.